More than 5 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. It can rob a person of their memory, normal functioning, and eventually their life. But one treatment facility is using pet therapy to help Alzheimer's patients lead a better life and deal with their diagnosis. But this is not your traditional pet therapy. I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest, yes. Linda Knuckles is looking at a lifetime of pictures that decorates her mother's wall at Georgetown Living, an assisted living center for Alzheimer's patients in Georgetown, Texas. She raised six kids, uh, pretty much independent of her husband and uh, did a great job, I think. Her mother, Kathy, has Alzheimer's and just moved in three weeks ago. We were worried about the transition. But on her first night alone in her room, Kathy was reminded of her childhood days spent on her cousin's farm along the Mississippi River. And she says, oh, I heard the cows, I heard the cows, and they were mooing. It was just like Louisiana. It was just like I grew up. It was, oh, it was so nice. I slept so good. You see, Kathy's new home has a unique pet therapy program. Oh, I like the cows. You feed the animals. When you see the animals, uh, it really is uh, it's like a happy experience. Dr. Char Hugh is the director of Georgetown Living during the week, but on weekends, I changed clothes and I turned into a rancher. The facility sits on 15 acres filled with a donkey named Pepper, three goats, countless lambs, a sheep, and three longhorns. Hugh's grandmother had dementia, and in every face of his 32 residents, he sees a little part of her. We tried to do is create something sort of in her legacy that um, not only is a great place, a great facility, but sort of adds a little bit of science, adds a modern flair, but really tries to be different. Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, and every 67 seconds, another American develops the disease. That's why the work that Georgetown Living is doing is so important. One of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's in particular is that you retain a lot of your long-term memories. So a lot of our residents will sort of regress back 40, 50, 60 uh, years into their past. The animals unlocked a part of Kathy's past that her daughter didn't know meant so much. It was a surprise to me that this affected her this way. I hadn't anticipated that at all. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about Alzheimer's, go to dailyrxnews.com.